She is a top female assassin who has been poisoned and has only one day left to live. See how she uses her little time to avenge herself against the Japanese mob. Join us today for the action-packed film Kate. The story begins with a very cute truck driving through a port in Osaka, Japan. But inside is a truck full of murderous weapons and two killers, one male and one female. The man, V, runs an organization of assassins, and the woman, Kate, is V's top assassin. Kate was adopted by V when her parents died as a child. After years of brutal, even nail-biting, training, Kate grew up to be one of the top professional killers in the industry. V's ace in the hole for over 10 years. To Kate, V is her close companion and family member, and V cares for Kate in every way possible. This time their target is the second-in-command of Japan's biggest gang, the Allen Group. Kenny, the real brother of the boss, Alan. According to reliable information, Kenny will be in the area soon. Kate made a quick move under the guise of asking for directions. He took out two of the gangsters who had been alerted to the area. Then he took the high ground and set up his sniper rifle. Soon after, the target appears in a car. The order to shoot came over the radio, but Kenny had his daughter with him. It's always been a principle of the group not to get involved with children. The order to shoot still came over the radio. The opportunity was fleeting. Kate didn't have time to think about it and pulled the trigger. Ten months later Tokyo, the last time she had killed her father in front of his children had left Kate with a bad taste in her mouth. She was beginning to tire of the life of a killer. Looking at the happy family on the street she envied them and it was time for a new life. A new life without killing. So she asks V to retire. V tried hard to hold her back, but Kate's mind was made up. But she agreed to help V finish the business in Japan. The last killed was the second in command of the Allen family. The other target was the boss, Allen. But after the second in command was killed, Allen became a scaredy cat. That's why it took so long. This night, a depressed Kate goes to a bar to get drunk. A man comes up to her by chance. Kate needed an outlet. After a short conversation, she went to the hotel and got a room and had a fight. Afterwards, Kate grabbed the man's wallet. She took down the man's name and address. At that moment the phone rang with a message from V. Alan had finally shown up and the time of action was 11 p.m. tonight. Kate flung a pile of money at the man before gathered her gear and made her way to the intended shooting position. This time she only had 10 seconds to fire. However, during the setup Kate suddenly experienced a strong feeling of discomfort. But it was short-lived and Kate didn't care. A few moments later the target appeared. Just as Kate was aiming and pulling the trigger, the intense discomfort returned. The intercom told her to abort. But Kate wanted to retire so badly she changed positions and kept firing despite the warning. But the target was already heavily protected and with a few unsuccessful shots and a feeling of discomfort Kate had to give up. After leaving the building, she vomited. After a brief adjustment, Kate blended into the crowd nearby. At this point a large number of gang members are searching for the killer. Kate had to grab a random car to get away. But this car was the gang's guiding light. Kate was forced to drive through the streets of Tokyo at a breakneck pace. She was able to get away from the mob. But it caught the attention of the police. They were in hot pursuit. But the intense discomfort she'd felt earlier returned. When she woke up she was in hospital. The doctor told her her condition was acute radiation syndrome. It was caused by close exposure to high levels of radiation. Kate remembered that the man she had fought with had handed him a drink. The man hadn't drunk it, so it was poisoned. But she didn't have much time left. According to the doctor, she only had one day to live. With that in mind, Kate disguised herself as a nurse while the doctor was away. She took a doctor's uniform from the laboratory. Disguised as a doctor, she took the policeman's gun from the corridor, surreptitiously took the doctor to the storage room and took a number of stimulants, stole a car from the car park and fled the hospital. She wanted revenge for herself. She soon found the man at the address she had written down, and he had a wife. Kate threatened the man's wife's life, asking why he had poisoned her. According to the man, he had been ordered to do so by Lewis, a member of the Allen family. The man and his wife were miserable people. They had been under the control of the Allens for a long time, and they were promised their freedom when the job was done. Kate's condition was getting worse and she was vomiting blood. After a brief tidy up, she let the couple go. Instead, she made an appointment with V. As a pure assassin she didn't know the identity of her target. But right now her poisoning must have something to do with this operation. After learning that Kate was dying, V revealed the identity of the target of the operation. The last time Kate had killed Kenny, he was the brother of the boss, Alan. 
Veed guessed that Alan must have been investigating their identities during the time he disappeared, and plotted a poisonous revenge against Kate. But finding Alan would be impossible. Last night was the only time he'd been seen in 10 months, but the gang's mid-levels often meet at a clubhouse. When she got the news, Kate sprang into action, made an improvised muffler and snuck into the clubhouse. After figuring out where the middleman was, Kate opened the door and shot the leader. The other two men in the room were stunned, and Lewis was there. Kate confirms the poisoning from him. He began to question Alan about his whereabouts, tell me or die. But Alan's whereabouts were so secret they had no way of knowing. Lewis was killed. The last of the leaders trembled. At that moment the boys heard the commotion and rushed into the box. Kate took the leader and continued to question him. But the gun jammed at a critical moment. The boys swarmed over him. Fight brought in more of them. The fight unlocked several ways to kill, albeit in a dangerous way. After a fierce fight, the minions were wiped out. All that was left was a stunned fat man. Without Kate's asking, the fat man told Alan's niece Anna that she might be able to find him. According to the information provided by the other party, Kate soon finds Anna in a nightclub. Anna is Kenny's daughter. Kate then took out the bouncer and took Anna away without a word. Anna tried to resist, but when Kate's gun went off she had to comply. But she couldn't contact Alan directly, let alone know his whereabouts. She usually contacted her uncle through Nick, the top advisor to the gang. He was the only one who could get in touch with Alan. When the call came through, Kate told him to tell him to come and exchange Anna in person or he would kill him. However, Nick didn't know where Alan was and didn't try to inform him, he just sent someone to the appointment. He even suggests that his men have a chance to kill Anna. What's going on here? Is there something else going on? Kate arrives at the promised slum, where Anna has to go to the toilet. Kate was also there to treat her wounds. The rebellious Anna is not disgusted by the sight of Kate's scars. On the contrary, she admires Kate. But after Kate had finished with the wounds, tied Anna to the toilet with her hands. Then she went to the appointment alone. The talk of tearing off the ticket. It was just a scare. It was also for Anna's own safety. Soon Kate and Nick's men meet. Neither side was sincere about the deal. A gun battle ensued. Kate used the terrain to her advantage and her nimbleness to fight and retreat. The gangster's life was being taken. He soon disappeared into the ghetto. By now Anna had broken free and was running out of the toilet. She was confronted by Nick's men. She thought she had been saved and cursed Kate. But soon she realized that something was wrong and that the gun was pointed at her. Anna was about to be killed when Kate burst out of the darkness. He fired his machine gun and took out several men and saved Anna. At that moment the sirens were blaring and Kate was in a hurry to get away. Anna was no longer of any value to Kate. With nowhere else to go, Anna had no choice but to follow Kate. Kate tried to get rid of Anna. But Anna shouted that everyone was throwing her around like a pile of rubbish. She had never seen her mother and her father was rarely around and now her uncle was having her killed. So her father must have been killed by him too. The idea that she would never have survived on her own reminded Kate of her own past. With the guilt she felt for Anna she stopped in her tracks. Just in time for her illness to return, Anna hands her a shot to save Kate. Kate finally stopped resisting and now they had a common enemy in Alan. Then they take a break. Anna bought Kate clothes and got her a pair of sunglasses and a look of adoration. But Kate didn't have much time. Since Alan doesn't show up, she lets Nick, who can get in touch with him, do. But Nick was hard to find. As far as Anna knew, Nick's whereabouts were known only to her boyfriend. Then they split up and Anna went to Nick's boyfriend's house, pretending to ask for help, to attract the attention of security downstairs. Kate snuck in through the back door. When Anna saw the pussy, she sent the guards downstairs. Kate snuck in too. She took control of him at gunpoint. But as Anna was closing the curtains, Kate's attention was drawn to the music. The sissy took advantage of the situation and rushed in to grab the weapon. I thought the pussy would be a handful, but this girl was not to be messed with. Kate was unable to get the upper hand in the struggle and was even on the losing end. Anna picks up a dropped pistol and tries to help, but instead she hits Kate and she takes the weapon away from her. At this point Kate is on the ground and she is in control of the situation. However, he had to have a little fun before shooting. He was attacked by Anna with a vase and knocked out. Nick's whereabouts are not known and he almost loses his life. 
The two of them had to search the room for clues. Kate finds weapons and equipment in a hidden compartment in the fridge. Anna finds a clue in Sissy's phone. She and Nick's phones were equipped with a couple's locator app, which gave them precise information about Lienzi's location and travels. After getting Nick's whereabouts, the pair set up an ambush on Nick's route. This time Anna was a real showstopper. Nick was scared out of his wits, but he didn't know where Alan was either. All he knows is that before he disappeared he said he wanted to be with his family. But he doesn't know what that means and Anna understands as soon as she hears it. Alan was in the old family home in the remote mountains. Then Kate used the phone to say her final goodbyes to V. She refused V's help, but he was free to clean up the house for himself. Then the two arrived at the house. Kate told Anna to wait outside the door so she wouldn't have to go through the killing again. She told Anna to wait outside the door. She entered the house and met Alan, but Alan was surprisingly calm. He didn't resent Kate for killing his brother. He said that Kate was just a tool and that both of them had been betrayed. He threw Kate some pictures. Kate looked at them and froze in her tracks, trembling. It was all a conspiracy by Nick and V. One for the top and one for the money. When the job was done, Kate would be killed. This point V also arrives at the old house and meets Anna at the door. She told Anna about Kate's killing of Anna's father. And inside the house Alan is ready to be killed, hoping that Kate would give him a piece of her mind. Moments later the two men outside the door heard a gunshot. Then Kate came stumbling out. Anna, utterly disappointed to learn the truth, walked towards Kate with a gun. Kate had murdered her family and she had helped to do it. Kate tried to explain and tell Anna not to believe V, but Anna didn't listen to her. On impulse, she shot Kate and she collapsed. Anna doesn't even look back and gets into V's car. He said the same thing to Anna that he had said to Kate all those years ago. V took Anna to the headquarters of the Allen Group and met Nick. V blamed Nick for poisoning Kate on his own initiative. He almost didn't finish the job. Nick, however, said that V had told him to kill Kate if she quit. That's true, V wanted to keep him around. After all, it takes a lot of effort and time to train a killer like Kate. Not that Nick was too aggressive. Good thing they'd achieved their goal. Nick had taken effective control of the mob. Listening to the two men talk without a care in the world, Anna saw the two men's faces for what they were. On the other hand, Kate wasn't dead, just a bruised cheek. And Alan hadn't been killed either. Alan had picked up the dope and renewed Kate's life here. Now the two of them were going to work together for revenge. Alan gathered the rest of his cronies to join Kate in the headquarters building. Kate and Alan's men make their way upstairs. V and Nick in the surveillance room see this and set up a sniper. But he knew what Kate was capable of and was ready to run. As he expected, Kate took some of his men and killed them floor by floor. She was ambushed by V, but that didn't stop her. When she met up with Alan, the gangsters had been cleared out. The two split up again, one to seek revenge on Nick and the other to settle the score with V. V sees the situation and leaves Nick behind. Nick was caught in the crossfire by Alan. Instead of killing Nick, Alan threw him a knife. If you want to be the boss, you have to play by the rules and go 1v1. Nick was young and strong and thought he had a chance to take advantage of it and started talking tough. He only managed to get one move in under Alan before he was slashed through the belly and his head chopped off. Kate's side had already found V's hideout and grenades were opening up the way. After a bitter fight, she took care of the killers outside and pushed her way into the room. V had taken Anna hostage. Kate choked up when she saw Anna and apologized. If she could do it all over again, she would give anything. In fact, when Anna learns the truth, she forgives Kate. What followed was a confrontation between Kate and V. V still says, without blushing, that he loves Kate like a father. Kate interrupts him and says that V only loves her as a tool. And she is glad that she is no longer a tool and has her life back. It was a very short time, though. With that, they both shot at the same time. V was shot in the vitals and slumped into a chair. A few moments later she was dead and Kate was still struggling to hold on. Anna helped her outside and collapsed in her arms. She closes her eyes forever with the hope of a new life and a little regret. That's the end of the story. Don't forget to like and follow us. See you next time.